Where are you coming from? I'm from school. Look at this dirty. You know, I just said that rub it on my body. Your teacher rub it on your body. Yes. Anyway, come inside. Let me go and drop you out. Okay. Thank you. I was driving home and I saw Johnson dead in the street. I decided to go. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. I call you and something I have to rush. Thank you. Johnson, where are you coming from looking this dead? It's my close teacher that wrote it on me when she was clean. Your class is crying. Your class is out of dirt all over you and you are crying. Yes. Serious. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, 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 I'm 
Upstairs, please. Sorry. Thank you. Oh. 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 My head aches. Every time you're always complaining about your head. Is there anything that your head is spinning you? Okay, if it's not paying me, I will not be complaining. Please leave me alone. Well, you're taking drugs now. It's supposed to stop. Um, I'm taking drugs, so please. Doctor is back. Yes. What is it again? I'm not fine. I'm not fine. What? My head is pounding so hard. Right, so I'm telling you. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'll take it to the doctor first thing tomorrow. Alright? Okay. So? Chris, how are you? That is mine for now. Exactly. The best. Very <laughs> Leave us alone. Very sad. Are you not pressing that? No, I'm not pressing that. When you go to she'll start shouting. That's not true, honey. 
<laughs> I'm going to place on the first to eat now. Oh, no, no, no.
don't worry. With the medications, you'll be fine, okay? She is sick. She's sick? Yes. Okay, don't worry. Hmm? Uh, sure. I'll, I'm sure she'll be fine. I'll go and see her later, yeah? Mommy, if you're going, I'm going with you. No, you're not going anywhere with me. Oh, yeah? Uh, okay. Upstairs, young man, you're not going anywhere with me. Oh. Uh, Tell you what's made. Oh, yeah?
Just for this kind of action, it has been sent to your sister. Okay, that's fine. Yes, can you tell the conference coming? Okay. The result is out. Okay. So, how yes. is it? She has a bit small. How? Uh, Doctor, please. What do you mean by a brain tumor? It is a collection of abnormal cells in the brain, which can be cancerous. So, what do we do? Doctor, do what are we going to do? We can handle that. We have. All the equipment to handle that, but we do not have a specialist here. So we have to invite a specialist. When we get a consultant, everything will be fine. Okay, how soon? As soon as the bills are settled. Doctor, you don't understand. Nothing is done. The problem. That's all. I just consult the consultant. That's it. That's all. We're to pay anything. Immediately. No problem. You see my accountant. They will discuss with me. Something terrible will happen to her. Good. Good, please protect your heart and save her from the sickness in Jesus' name. Family doctor could not handle the case that if calling um, a specialist. Yes, that's true. Has the consultant seen her? Um, no, but the doctor prescribed some drugs for her, yeah. and um, we are waiting for the consultant. Don't worry, just be fervent in prayers. She will be fine, she will be okay by God's grace. Amen. Amen. She's already healed. Amen. I believe. You, how are you? <laughs> Have you been I'm, coping? I'm fine. Bless you now. Mm. I'm okay. Well, mm, it's well. I am very glad you could make it within a very short notice. <laughs> I am happy to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Doctor. It was always my pleasure to work <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, that's fine. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But the patient is for you at the hotel. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Hello, Mr. Gideon. Yeah, I'm going to inform you that um, because Alton has arrived and uh, we will have an appointment with your house tomorrow morning. Yes. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Your heart. How are you? I'm fine, doctor. Good. Um, about your headache. W when did it start? About six to ten months ago. Hmm. How do you normally feel in the mornings? It's always really bad in the mornings. I feel like I have pressure hair on my head. It must feel like laughing, sneezing, or crying it makes the pressure real worse. Hmm. Okay, um, have you seen any other doctor before now? Yes, you are the third. The third? Okay. So, are you under any medication presently? Yes, I've been taking painkillers. Hmm. It's alright. Please sit down. Okay, sir. You see, brain tumor is a kind of cancer that is very, very difficult to treat. And uh, the probability of 
survivor for anybody who is affected by that particular cancer. It's tough on you. I just have to be honest with you. So, Doctor, what are we going to do? What can be done? Can surgery be a way out of this? Surgery will be very dangerous. And yeah, the reason is the tumor is located near the cerebral, you know, which is at the left hand side of the brain, by the back side. So it's very dangerous. The chances of her survival. If, if, if we opt for surgery, what are the chances? I must be honest with you. The chances of survival is very slim. If we carry out the surgery, she might not survive it. And even if she does, she might be paralyzed for life. On the other hand, if we don't do the surgery, the tumor will grow bigger and it will block the fluid flowing through the spinal cord. I'm sorry. What can be done? How, how can you help us? But I cannot sit down and watch my daughter die. I can't. You just have to do something, please. You see, her case is a very rare type of tumor that is called medulloblastoma. It's very common in children. And you look at case, it's very, very serious. It's critical. Don't you see? Yes. You just have to find a way out. Okay? She's my only daughter. My only child. I cannot sit here and watch my daughter die. No, it's not possible. I really need to do everything and anything to make sure that she comes out of this. I really need to take her any way in this world to make sure she's okay. Doctor, money is not the problem. I'm ready to pay anything. Anything I'll pay. Just find a way out for me. No, 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 my baby cannot. 
have cancer. My baby cannot have cancer. Don't. Don't. God did not have cancer. Yes. So therefore, my daughter does not have cancer. I'm sorry. She's going to be fine. You have You do not have cancer. My daughter does not have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. She does not have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. God did not have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. My daughter cannot have cancer. My daughter does not have
Nothing. Johnson, what are you doing here? Who brought you here? I'm a technical dossier. Uncle, they came with me. Can you come in for me? Johnson. So what about you then? You came to see pure heart. Pure heart. Pure heart. Daddy, she's so awesome. Call one of the nurses for me. Nurse, I want you to keep an eye on my daughter. Okay. I want to go across the road to get something for her. There's no problem. So if my husband comes, just tell him what I said. Okay. Oh, please don't stay long. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you. How's she doing? She's getting better. Shh, we're fine. Nurse, who is an organ donor? Anyone of any age can be. And why do you ask? Is it possible? Or a living person who has two kidneys to donate them. It's possible. But only when the persons are the date of death. That's all. Don't worry. We'll be fine, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine for me now. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that there are some people who need help in this hospital. And you're one of them. Yes, it's true. So, what is your problem? My two kidneys are damaged. And I need replacement for your thing. Okay. So, what will happen if they are not replaced? You're going to die. Please, I need to see the doctor. Any problem? No. Just 
just uh, let me decide to see how it changes. Okay, I will do just that. Pure heart, you sent for me. How can I help you? Yes, Doctor. Come in. Doctor, can you keep secrets? Secrets. Okay. Um, I'm listening. Are you sure you can keep our secret? Yes. I want to save two lives. How? How? I want to save the boy with the heart failure and the girl with damaged kidneys. I want to donate my heart and kidneys to them. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I'll talk to you later. You think I don't know? You think I don't know you plans to sell my daughter's organs at a very high amount of money? But listen, let me warn you. Your plans will never work. You have failed. Me? Yes, you! Madam, please, who is feeding you with all this? If anything happens to my daughter, then you will say what I'll do to you. Try it! What's this coming from? Madam, I'm sorry to tell you this. But you just have to take heart. Um, I have carefully reviewed the tests that were carried out on her. Um, unfortunately, she has been diagnosed with acute renal failure. Please, doctor, what is renal failure? Uh, which means that uh, her kidneys are giving up on her. Hey, doctor, this is my only child. Since you said it's kidney, can I donate my own kidney to save my only child? Uh, yes, you can. But we need to carry out the necessary tests to ensure that your kidneys are compatible with her. No problem. Yes. The result of the test indicates that your two kidneys are perfectly okay. Um, however, they are not much for your daughter. And unfortunately, she has less than two weeks to be ready. What do you mean by less than two weeks? What I mean is that if we don't do something urgently, she will die. Sandra will not die. I will donate my two kidneys for her to live. It is not possible. You will donate your kidneys to no one. I can't allow you to be used as a sacrificial lamb to save another woman's child. I can't. But, mommy, she doesn't have much time to live. And so what? Did you 
Go, 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 go and look for it elsewhere. Not you, not you, my child. Not you, please. Please. I can't afford to lose you. Please. My daughter will not die. Okay. Mommy, I'm dying in pain. There is no hope for survival for me. Only benefits will leave me if I die with my organs. Every day, according to the statistics, an average of 18 people die. An average of 18 people waiting for transplant died because there are no organs available. Who would benefit Felipe to both of you if those innocent kids die? Your name will be on your head because you blocked their means of possible survival. I've been here in this hospital for months. I'm wishing in pain. Wasting your time and money on my medical bills. Are you happy seeing me in pain? No. Are you be happy if those innocent kids die? No. <laughs> he would die. He would leave. And get your organs back. You won't die, my daughter. You can't die. <laughs> you can't die. <laughs> Support immediately so that we can keep the blood and water flowing in the organs. Get it quick! Hurry up! Hurry up! So, shall we move on? So, you want me to donate my daughter's organs to another woman's children? Is that what you want? Please, please, don't hear me out there. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing. Yes. Doris, look, I, I know I'm not in a position to say this. But the truth is, if, if Pyoha dies, she dies in vain. Please. The sacrifice she's about to make now will save lives. And think about it. If those children leave, her spirit lives on. Please. Think about it. Um, you see, we don't have time. We don't have time. Let's do something fast. Doctor, please. 
Please, you should take this thing. Take it easy. This is another woman job I'm talking about. I am a mother. I have a son. It's not something you just go in. Let's try this question, please. Ask my mom. No, Doris. I will plead with you to please agree with your husband's decision. Please. What is the way forward? Do I have time? I was always just understanding that. Sure. I'll thank you to the beginning of the chapter. And if she's so nice, this is it. This is She is compatible. Her soul can be her heart and kidneys to the kids. Do I have the choice? Well then, give it to the kids. Let him copy them and sign. It's it's my first thing. 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 that we will all miss her very dearly. <sighs> she was a special child, a special thing. I'm sure she's resting in the bosom of the Lord. Please take heart. Just take heart. All is well. There is no hope there you are going to. There is no hope there you are going to Mommy is crying Daddy is ready Everybody is missing now Yeah. <laughs> 